very simple form called cloud hands. And we'll start by stepping our feet just a little wider than hip width. And let's just shift our weight from one leg to the other. Noticing that solid foundation. When you're ready, we're going to sweep our right hand in front of the heart. See if you can form a kind of eye to hand connection and a hand to heart connection. And we want our shoulder to be heavy, our elbow to be heavy. So no tension, no holding the shoulder up. And then our left hand is going to be at the level of the waist. And this is the level of our dantian. And we're going to see if we can hold this shape as we start to turn our hip bones and our shoulders together. So arm and body move together. And then when you find your hips can't move anymore, we're going to turn our palms towards each other. Drop the right hand down, left hand comes up to the same position in front of the heart. And see if you can keep this shape of hand and arm and heart moving all together. When you can't turn your hips anymore, turn the palms towards each other. And then we turn the hips back. So let's take this real slow. Very easy to swing your arms around, but that's not doing qigong. We're teaching our body to move together, upper and lower body, internal and external body. And with this one, we don't uh, sink our breath to our movement. Breath is just even and calm. I start to feel a kind of stillness even within the movement. Just allowing each breath to come. Each breath to go. Things you might focus on is just crown of the head continuing to lift, back of the neck long, spine long. Dark waypoint, the very top of our skull lifting up, almost like a string is lifting it up. You might like to focus on your bubbling spring point, kidney number one, directly under the balls of your big, big toe and second toe. Feel that connection. You're pressing down. Lower body is heavy and steady. Notice if there's any tension in your jaw. Your cheeks, your neck, you might like to invite feeling of relaxation into every muscle in your face, 43 muscles. And most important of all, just find that rhythm with your breath. I like to think of the clouds as being at the level of your heart. And above, above your hand, above your heart is clear blue sky when you see your true self. 
And maybe all the things that happen to us are the clouds taking us in a different direction. Maybe things leaving us or circumstances changing, things we don't want to happen that happen. So you might feel like you're just peeking above the level of the clouds, just like you're on a plane looking out of the window. And our true self, the part of us that never changes no matter what happens to us, our true self is the clear blue sky. Part of us that never changes. You might think of it as your soul or your true being. Right, next time we turn, let's come back to the center. We'll bring our feet back under the hips. We'll take our hands to our dantian. Just bring your attention onto the palms. Take a moment to notice how you feel. This is why we practice for awareness. From that awareness, we might make intentions, small changes to our habit energy. We're going to see if we can extend that cloud hand shape into our Tai Chi form now. So let's bring our feet closer together and have that feeling of center. You might think of it as balance or harmony with the universe. The universe always takes us one way or another. When we are in health and harmony, we are in the center, allowing all of life to revolve around us. So when we do the cloud hands form in our Tai Chi sequence, essentially we're moving away from the center and then we're returning. So the first thing we'll do without any breath is we're going to shift our weight to one leg. You can mirror me if you like and step out. We want toe and then heel, whole foot to be flat on the ground before we shift our weight. And then we're going to come back to the center, just leaning back. When all our weight is back at the center, we lift our heel and toe, draw it back in, and then to the other side, same kind of movement. All foot is on the ground before we shift our weight. And then we return to the center, lift the heel and toe and step back. Now let's turn our hips. Let's feel that sense of rotation of the hips. We'll keep our hands out of it for now. So we're going to step out. When our whole foot is on the ground, now turn our hips. You might even like to hold onto your hips. Feel that rotation. And when they can't turn anymore, we're going to roll back, step back, And then we'll go the same on the other side. Turn the hips. Turn the hips back. Lift the heel and toe, draw the foot back. So you'll notice that our hips are turning in both directions. We're turning the hips out as we move away from center. And then we're turning the hips back as we return to center. But all of the twisting of our hips happens when both feet are on the ground already. Okay. Let's see if we can add some arm movement into it now. Find your center, take a breath, sigh out. As we step out, 
whole foot's on the ground. Let's turn, turn the hips. When the hips can't turn anymore, we're going to shift the weight back, turn the hips back, step the foot in, and now we turn our waist again. Now we step out. We're returning to center. We're stepping back. And just continue to turn the hips in this way. This feeling of always returning to center. No rushing. It's the shifting of your weight. This Tai Chi idea of the one point of contact with the ground. Like we did before, see if you can find that rhythm. Where time stops. To have a little checklist, some common things with Tai Chi. You might be lifting your foot while your hip is still turning. You might lose the sense of eye to hand connection or hand to heart connection. And stay straight. Maybe, just maybe, you find this element of moving with Wu Wei, with effortless action. No thinking, no trying, no effort. Mind and body moving as one. You might think of it as a flow state, not bogged down by doubt or worry or anxiety. This is why we practice. Mind and body moving as one.
Next time you come into the center, draw the hands back down. You might like to bring them onto the belly once again. What can we notice about ourselves on this day, this practice? Every day is unique and different. Every day we are different. So what can we notice on this day? Let's bring our arms down, just let them be loose. Inviting that fluidity through the spine. You might like to lock your heels, but lift your toes. Or you might make the switch and start to raise your heels and reach above the shoulder. And just slowly let the arms come down. Exploring every point of the spine. The arms just start to knock against the body, maybe stimulating some points on our kidneys, our liver, our stomach. And we'll shake out. Create some heat in our hands. And bring that heat, that heat of practice up to the side of our head, spreading our fingers into two parts. Bring them up to the side of the ear and push up. You might like to comb through the hair or tap through the skull. And then we'll take our attention to the neck, the throat. Take out one last time. And we'll draw our palms together at heart center. And as we always do, let's acknowledge our choice to be here practicing today and then send that gratitude to each other. <laughs> 